Nicole Hoff Center, whose Please Give was literally my favorite movie at Sundance. Really? It really yeah. was. How, how many did you see, too? I saw quite a few. <laughs> okay, good. And um, and I liked some other ones, too, but I've, I've been liking your work for a long time. Thank you. And what, str what really, I'm just going to start with this incredibly crass consideration was I was amazed at how well you did for such a low budget. When you mm -hmm. told me that it, it cost three million dollars, mm -hmm. I fell over. Really? And I, I Okay, I mean, it cost two million. Seem, I mean, in your world. Thank you. You know, what, what, do, what does three million dollars mean in terms of the kind of filmmaking that, you, that mm -hmm. you're doing? And have you ever had more? Have you ever had less? Yeah. I mean, where is it? I have had more and I have had less. I've made um, two movies for one million and Friends with Money was six million. And they all seem about the same, actually. I haven't found a difference yet in that budget range. It's weird. Um, well, did you try to get more? Oh, no, I don't want more. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's a, yeah. What was the process? I mean, why three? I mean, that, I don't want 30. I would love, you know, $10 million. I, I can't imagine. I, I imagine that that would be a lot different. Um, what would it do? I mean, well, I mean I'm, I'm I'd have serious. more than 23 days. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had, I've had, the most I've ever had was 25. I think that was my first movie. And... Walking and talking? Yeah. And I, I think... I sat on the floor at a cinema, the holiday cinema, me and Janet Maslin. Are you kidding? We both sat on the floor in the front of the theater. We had to fight our way in. At which theater? The holiday. Where is that? Sundance. Oh, it's Sundance. You're kidding. Really? That's so great. That's, it was great. Wow. It was and great. I remember waiting in the rain at, you know, 12 midnight for her review of it, you know, out on 72nd Street at the newsstand, and it was good. I was like, thank you, Janet Maslin. That's so cool. But you had more luxurious uh, a production schedule with, 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 with Isn't that. Isn't that funny? I know. I don't know why. I guess it depends on how many locations you need and, you know, stuff like that. But I would love... I don't even need that many more days. A few more days, more art department money, more lead time, longer, you know, prep. Um, locations, more choices of locations. Um, so you're in that furniture, you're in that um, used uh, furniture yeah. store, you know, a lot. But it's a great, great set. Yeah, and it you is. You had some fun with that, and yeah, with, and with the apartments that you were that you were using. But the production designer, you know, lost his marbles trying to fill that up with no money. You know, it's really hard. So, it's what I'm used to, and I would do it again and again and again if I got to. But I would like some more money if I could get it. But does it feel as though the world that you're in is expanding in that way or contracting? I guess it feels like it's contracting. It definitely doesn't feel like this, you know, oh, this wide open, fabulous opportunities, um, so many places to sell my movie, no, no, it's getting slimmer, um, although I'm not a producer, and my producer, you know, he's a lot more creative, he has ways and means, so he knows where to go if we can't get it, you know, I mean, he's not like a murderer or anything, he just, it's a producer. <laughs> and, you're, and you have actors who mm -hmm. seem to be willing to work for you for, for very yeah. little. Yeah. You know, Catherine Keener is, is, your, is your muse, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe. Kinda. She's your alter ego yeah. a little bit in yeah. this movie. She is my alter ego in this movie. She definitely is portraying many parts of me, as are other characters in the movie playing parts of me, too, but Catherine mostly. So you wrote her with her in mind? Or with yourself? How do you do that? It's true. I sometimes picture myself. Uh, I often picture her because she's the better version of me. She'll say it better, look better while she's saying it, um, find a more unique way of saying something. Um, so sometimes picturing her in my head really helps. Um, I wasn't sure, excuse me, if, if she was going to be in this one. I kind of toyed with the idea of going with somebody new. And I told her, and she was like, break a leg, you know, go ahead, come to me if, if you change your mind. And I did change my mind. Um, Why? Um, I, I realized that I was um, not putting her in it for the wrong reason. It was the reason, like this voice in my head that was saying, use someone new. You know, people are going to think you're making the same movie over and over if you use the same actress. And... Um, you know, take a chance, blah, blah. It's just like those stupid voices in your head that really didn't um, 
make sense to me. So I finally shut them off and thought, I can get Katherine Keener to play this part. She'd be amazing in it. Fuck the rest. Oh, am I allowed to say that? Sure. Fuck the rest. <laughs> Fuck the rest. No. <laughs> Fuck the rest. <laughs> no, no. Talk about a little bit about your writing process because you are clearly a writer-director. I mean, clearly. This is the... <laughs> The MO here. Um, uh -huh. So talk, you, you sit down okay. with what germ of an idea, starting with what? Um, I wish I could remember more, just so I could have a better answer mostly, but the germ, you know, the germ was the Rebecca Hall character who does mammograms, a lonely girl who does this for a living. Um, that was the first character. And then, I don't know when I decided to write about the apartment situation, but that's what the whole script grew out of um, the weird relationship that these neighbors could have with one another and it seemed you know I, I kind of have trouble creating plots generally and this seemed like oh my god a plot my version of a plot it's like conflict and that's great you know to have to start with conflict like that and it just lent itself to having a really guilty character who is me I'm a really guilty character.